The IRS changing course on a plan that would tax business transactions on third-party money-sharing apps like Venmo and PayPal. Yeah, the change is supposed to start this month, but the agency is now going to delay that till next year. Chastity Baxi is live with why the change and how we can benefit. Chastity? Jonathan and Steve, many of you at home who use these services like Venmo, Cash App, Zelle, all these other apps, they, I mean, you maybe probably just noticed that you would be receiving a form from the IRS about your business transactions. And that's actually one of the reasons why the agency has decided to delay this tax change. The IRS is trying to ease fears of surprise tax bills, choosing to delay a rule that requires payment platforms to issue 1099-Ks to both the IRS and individual app users who reported payments. Right now, the form is only used if you make more than 200 business transactions, totaling more than $20,000 a year. But that's going to change next year. They lowered that threshold to $600 in aggregate, and there was no transaction limit. So you can imagine that's going to affect a lot more people because there's a lot of vendors out there that didn't necessarily hit that $20,000 and 200 transaction threshold. A 1099-K form is a snapshot of all online payment transactions. The form is used to report those transactions to improve voluntary tax compliance. So this is like your Uber, Lyft, Amazon gig workers, uh, small businesses, maybe you contracted for, you know, a Fortune 500 company, they're going to issue, issue you a 1099. Tax experts say it should be noted that any income you earn as a trade or business for goods and services provided should be reported to the IRS anyway. But the agency stresses that the new law is not intended to track personal transactions. So usually you had to make the effort to create the business account and um, the goal is when you create that business account that you will only do business, you know, with that account. But people do commingle funds, so, you know, they're directly affected because, you know, yeah. small businesses sometimes use that cash out, for example, for both. And now they really were going to have to, you know, separate the two. Now, again, your personal transactions will not be taxed. So if you're sending money to a friend for the holidays or for a birthday gift, or if you're getting money from mom and dad to help you pay bills, that will not be taxed. But just so you guys know, the change is projected to raise about $8 billion, with a B, billion um, in additional tax revenue over the next 10 years. Reporting live, Chastity Maxey, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side.